rifle, give me one original way to assassinate somebody, and we can all go home. Ah, yes. come on. I got it. Okay, first, we hire a midget. I'm listening. When the target starts his car, said midget, now in our employ, bursts out of the airbag and strangles him. Oh, oh that'll get him. That's the best Thank one I've heard all night. Congratulations, Smith. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Oh, uh, guess we're eating dinner here. Again. Bullock's made us work late every night this week. Now, you know why. Bullock's wife is still being held hostage in Fallujah. Who wants to go home to an empty house? Where should we order from? Hoagies and wings? One of us has to find a woman for Bullock so he won't want to work late every night. Great idea, Jackson. Wow, they have hoagies and wings. Oh, they also have hamburgers. I think this place is trying to do too much. Damn it! You want me to set Bullock up with one of my friends? Come on, Francine. I'm sick of working late. Hey, I know the perfect match. Your friend Melinda. I don't know. Nonsense. It'll be great. All right, I'll call her. But if this doesn't work out, remember, I told you. Ah! Oh, Francine, Klaus had a little accident. We're going to need some paper towels. Oh, I have some of those. Dude! What the hell? I needed a diversion. Francine was dangerously close to saying the four words I never, ever want to hear from her again. I told you so. She said it to me exactly four times in our marriage. I told you so. 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 I cannot hear those words again. And I'll do whatever it takes to keep her from saying them as God is my witness. Weird. Not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, I know. It must be heat lightning. This pedometer is the best Christmas gift ever. Thanks, Roger. Don't mention it, Roger. Steve, hydrate me. Over here. <laughs> Ugh! What is that? A Manhattan. I feel great! And look! I lost half a pound since Tuesday. You look thin, and therefore have value. There he is, Mommy, the monster! Timmy, it's not nice to point. But he doesn't have a nose. <clears throat> he can't help it if he's deformed. Deformed? I'm just as God made me, madam. <laughs> Relax, sir. You've never looked more beautiful. I'm just a bit rusty at pitching woo. Oh, there she is. Melinda! Oh, God, Francine, please tell me this is my blind date's father. Oh! I knew this was a bad idea. I told you... Hey, hey, come on! We all just got off on the wrong foot. Let me buy us a round of drinks. Waiter, 15 kamikazes! Mirror, mirror on the wall. Let's see how you like it on the floor! Hey, Roger, we have something that might cheer you up. Don't look at me. I'm hideous. I'm a noseless freak. Not anymore. Rick Baker's celebrity nose kit? They're latex copies of actual celebrity noses. <gasps> Just like porn stars do with their genitals. Shall we get started? Hello, beautiful. How'd you get so beautiful? How'd you get that sunshine in your smile? Hello, beautiful. How do you get so beautiful? How do you get that sunshine in your smile? Maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, my God. It's perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Kevin Bacon. <gasps> Roger, you look awesome. First thing tomorrow, we're going to the park. I can't wait to show my nose to that kid who spited my face. Mm. <sighs> Francine, why didn't you warn me about Avery's unbelievably sexy accent? Ben Roethlisberger. Oh, yeah. Well, looks like my late nights at the office are finally over. Oh, <laughs> Stan, nothing turns me on like watching a dear friend get worked over by an old man. Well, you're drunk enough. Francine and I are going to go have the maritals. I just hope I don't pre-marital in the car on the way home. Ooh. Hello? Smith, we have a problem. It's about bloody time! 
This is your fault, Smith. I told you I was rusty when it came to dating. I don't understand, sir. I, I thought you and Melinda really hit it off. We did. Lovely woman. Things were going swimmingly, and then I... I made the most terrible blunder. Oh, my God! Is she dead? Quite. Boy, you are rusty. Sir, you killed your date? What in the name of Phil Spector happened? Everything was going so well. Previously on my blind date. I don't normally move this fast. I never thought I could feel this way about someone other than my wife. I'm gonna go powder my nose. I'll freshen your drink. I thought she was a terrorist! Curse my CIA-honed reflexes! Sir, this is a disaster! Do you realize what you've done? I've ended a life in its prime. Worse! You've given my wife a reason to say I told you so! She knew this date wouldn't work out! Your wife will never know about this. No one will. One of us will have to bury this body in the woods. Of course, sir. But how do we decide which one of us will... Damn it! There he is. That little feelings herder is about to eat crow. I'm gonna go rub his nose in my nose. Mommy, look, it's the monster! <gasps> the monster from the hit movie Hollow Man! Oh my God, it is Kevin Bacon! Normally I'd chastise you for watching an R-rated movie, but Kevin Bacon is an American treasure, even when he's playing an invisible rapist. Kevin Bacon? Stir up echo! Tremors won three Saturn Awards! What's a Saturn Award? You're missing the point! You're right, sorry, that's Kevin Bacon! They think you're Kevin Bacon. Yes, Haley, I understand things that happen around me. Mr. Bacon, would you and your entourage like to dine at my fancy eatery? On the house, of course. Oh no, momentito, por favor. All right, do we milk this bacon thing for all the free stuff we can get, or do we wuss out and get nothing? Let's vote. Haley, you don't get to vote. I was gonna vote for free stuff. Really? Well, look at you. Okay. God, I'm so hungover. Last night is such a haze, but it seems like that blind date was a big success. I think I'll stop by Melinda's today and get the details. No, don't do that. Why? Did something go wrong? No, it, it, it's, it's just that, well... You and Melinda got in a big fight last night, and she never wants to talk to you again. But Melinda and I never fight. Well, normally, no, but you know how nasty you get when you drink. I do? I didn't know that. Well, that's because you always black out. Look, Francine, your friendship is dead and buried. Buried behind the Olive Garden. The one in Richmond. Well, I'm gonna go pay a hobo to say we were playing squash until very late last night. Hey, wine guy, Kevin Bacon wants another free bottle of your most expensive wine. But, Mr. Bacon, you've already had five premium bottles and... Oh, okay, all right, okay. Hey, uh, I'm doing the back page of Vanity Fair next week. I guess when they ask me what my greatest loss in life was, I'll say the two feet of lower intestine that had to be removed after I ate at this dump. No! Mr. Bacon, of course, it's on the house. You bet your ass it is. I'm Kevin Bacon! Roger, we can't keep doing this. Yeah, I mean, it's stealing. Oh, I, excuse me, are you an ethicist? I, uh, are you? Is there an ethicist in the house? I'm an ethicist. Well, screw you, I'm Kevin Bacon. I just heard Bullock's got another all-nighter planned for us. Aw, oh, man. Thank you for taking the time. Francine. I'm worried about Melinda. I went by her apartment to apologize, and she wasn't there. How odd. I don't think she ever made it home. How curious. How, 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 how can you be sure? There was a Thai menu hanging from her doorknob, which doesn't add up because she loves Thai food and she hates doorknob clutter. I'm sure she's fine. You're probably right. I guess I should wait another day before going to the police. It appears we have a pig in our truffle patch. Sir, my wife has to believe your date was a success. Don't worry, Smith. I'll throw her off the trail. Thank you, sir. Oh, while I have you, does Francine have any other single friends? This whole thing with Melinda has made me really horny.